Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley View Farm. Hey, Doug. We're going into May, so we're getting, uh, you know, the chance of frost is diminishing rapidly here. Still a slight chance, you gotta be careful, but time to talk about tomatoes and peppers. Eggplant, all that kind of stuff can mm -hmm. start going out now. So this is a great way to do it. One of the things I like is are these earth boxes. Uh, we've had them for years. Container I have container gardening. Yeah. Uh, also, these things can be put in the ground about now too, as long hey, as sure. you can protect Absolutely. them. Yeah. Yeah. So this has um, um, this is kind of cool. This holds two cubic feet of soil, so it holds a lot of soil in here. It also has a two cube, uh, a two gallon reservoir in the bottom for water. So your roots are going to grow down to the water, and you're mm -hmm. going to be actually watered from the bottom. But the drainage is important. So even if you use a different type of container to create that drainage space, Absolutely. is a good idea. And this is nice too because if you get too much water, it just comes out of the bottom. Overflow. Now, yeah, and you don't have to worry too much about rain because you're going to be watering it here through this tube, um, and then this cover is actually going to save it. So what we've done to just prep this is we have the two cubic feet of soil in here. We've already mixed lime in there, and we've already mixed in fertilizer in here, mm -hmm. um, and whatever. So we're ultimately, just... we cover this up. Now this helps keep the soil from evaporating or the water from evaporating from the soil. It also keeps weeds out. Yep, and it's going to warm the soil too, so you may get a faster crop. Two here. slits cut. Two in slits there to cut. Put the plants in. And we're going to kind of try to put them in there. <laughs> okay. So Let's we're see. just doing two plants. We did a celebrity tomato because it's a um, what we call a determinant. Doesn't get that that big. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to pretend that there's room here. I'll kind of make myself a little hole. And I'm just going to jam this guy right in there. Put soil around it. Um, this has, you can get these with the trellis kit as we have here, or you can get them without it. It also comes in a lot of different colors, which is kind of cool. And then just pull that plastic back over it. Now, instead of watering it from the top like we usually would do our plants, we're going to add the water right in this little tube here. If we get too much in there, again, that excess water is going to come out here, and this plant's going to be ready to go. You're looking good, John. All right, so there we got that in. I even left the label in, so I. There you go. You know, in three months, you know what happened. You now, know? if you're doing cold crops or some summer crops, this also has a white side too. So if you don't want, you want to reflect more heat, you can yeah. use that side instead. Um, I use this for a lot of things: spinach, cabbage, kale. Um, also use it for one or two tomato plants. I usually only put one in. Right, and and the key here too is even when you've got little starters like this, and say you're going to put them in the ground, is if it looks root bound. Loosen all this soil up around here to get the roots free. Right. So that they're not, otherwise they may stay in a tight root ball when you try to plant them. And this is great because you're working with capillary action, so those roots have mm -hmm. to go down here. At the end of the year, this is just a mass of roots. And again, you can replant it in the fall. All right, so going into May, again, we can start just about anything at this Pretty point much, as far yeah. as veggies I mean, are concerned. As you said, keep it keeping your eye out for the weather. I'd like them a little more careful about lima beans, a little bit more careful about basil because they really don't don't handle even a little bit of cold well. But most of your other things I think you're good to go. It's happening fast now. Get your garden going if you haven't. And if you're going, take care of it. That's and right. And have fun with it. And next Sunday we'll be back with more on Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then.